we all familiar with this dude Charleston White, right? Yeah, we yeah, know who he is, right? Like so, I like my man was watching him religiously for a while, and me, I've been at a point in my life for a couple of years, for several years, where I'm like, I that shit sound like a whole bunch of negativity, a whole bunch of stupid shit, a whole bunch of I'm not dealing with. Nothing. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear that. Don't don't send me those clips, but. Recently, I stumbled across a clip of his where he said he hates L.A., right? He said, they killed, he said, y'all killed P&B Rock, Nipsey, Tupac, Biggie, Pop Smoke, blah, 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 blah. And I couldn't, I couldn't feel something like, I couldn't disagree with that. I clicked on it, right? And I'm watching what he's, you know, and I'm watching the whole shit and I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling the feeling. What he's saying, what he's saying makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, he's talking about all this check-in shit and I couldn't protect Nipsey and blah, blah, blah. Valid points, whatever, right? But I said to myself, I, I needed to ask LA myself. What's going on? What makes me so special? Because I've been coming out here for years and I feel nothing but love is there something i need to tell people back home that they need to stop doing this something is it to stop wearing jewelry is that it well the, like, that the jewelry is a here's the that's thing that's definitely here, here, here's the thing that's a big part of it mm -hmm. but i'll tell you wolves gonna eat right yeah, I, I'll, I get I'll tell that you part. like this la has been one of the most dangerous cities I, people know this mm -hmm. and, and just because it looks nice you know what i mean right. when you when you in the hood in brooklyn when mm -hmm. you like when you go to like East Flatbush or you know these, mm -hmm. you can tell you in the motherfucking hood. Right. A lot of the neighborhoods in LA yeah. look nice as hell, but look, you for years you, I was you wouldn't know you in the for hood. years I was coming out here. It wasn't until 2003 a nigga drove me through the hoods and I realized how how close I was to the hoods when I would be in Hollywood. That's what, yeah. Like, I had no idea how close it really was. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel, so if you wanna help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.